to show you how to create a cool interactive button map interface for any geographic location that you live in the world whether you live in the United States, Mexico, Canada, uh, Europe, Asia, you can use any blank map that you can find so we'll start in fireworks and we'll just open a map you have to find a map on your own uh, whatever country you want to use and it's best to have a blank map without labels on the countries already and without lines all over it you just want the outlines and the shapes and so once you have that in fireworks we can go to the uh, make sure it's highlighted on stage and go to the scale tool and scale it down to about the size you want it in flash and this is 646 it's a little bit too big bring it down just a little bit 569 that's great then highlight or just press outside somewhere off of the image and fit canvas okay now we'll zoom back into 100 okay now to extract each and every one of these provinces here we have to grab the uh, magic wand tool so we'll highlight the image and I'll just do uh, maybe four or five six countries here or provinces to uh, to show you how it's done and bring it into flash as an interactive map okay so let's grab the uh, make sure it's highlighted and grab the magic wand and let's select the first one now let's zoom in here I'll show you how the magic wand works it has a tolerance so if I bring the tolerance down to zero you can see how the outline there grabs more of the inside of the shape and less of the outside lines and if you bring the tolerance up it grabs the outside lines a little bit tighter you bring the tolerance up more and it pretty much selects the whole map so that's not what we want so let's bring the tolerance back down now we can see that it's going to select that one real nice so with that selected let's go back to 100 percent press control C control V and then uh, you can just press the text tool or something to get out of that and then once you grab the map you'll see that that one piece is now separate and that's what you want so now we'll go over here press fit canvas and off to the side we have our independent pieces that we're going to assemble in flash for people to select and that's going to be the, the uh, the interface for them to select the items we want them to select and if you're maybe a you know a large corporation or you work for a large corporation as their website designer and they service many many provinces throughout the world you can create a cool map like this to be the landing spot for the home page and then people can select which province they live in to get to the information that is pertinent to them okay so now let's hit the magic wand tool get the next one press control C control V let's move that one here highlight the image again the whole image magic wand get the next one control C control V and you can keep on going with these just hit the next one let's see make sure we get the tolerance set right Nope, I guess you have to deselect it. Okay, so that's three. That's good for this example. Okay, so now we're going to bring everything into Flash. And you can bring it in independently. Or, actually, let's put it back where it goes. And then we'll bring it all in. That would make workflow a little bit easier once we get into Flash, and you'll see what I mean. Okay, now let's get the last one. That one goes right there. Okay, now let's go ahead and fit canvas. Everything's in the place it needs to be. So, what we can do is actually, we don't want all of that. Let's, uh, I'm going to grab the marquee tool. I'm going to cut a certain region off of the map. 
because I don't want all that. Okay, now you deselect it. I'm not sure how you deselect the marquee tool. I always go to the text tool and then I go to the pointer tool and that deselects everything for me. So you can see what I cut out here. This is what I cut out. Let's get rid of this. Control X, highlight it, press Control X. Now let's move this to the back by pressing Control Shift down key, arrow down key. You see? If you press Control Shift up, Control Shift down, Control Shift up, Control Shift down, you see what's doing? It's going in between how it's layered in the scene there. Okay, so let's put this where it needs to go, right there. Now let's fit canvas. Now let's take it all, press Control C, go into Flash, CS4, CS3, Flash 8. Flash MX even if you want, it doesn't matter because you can use Flash Action Script 2 for this or Flash Action Script 3. I'm just going to happen to use Action Script 3 because that's what I'm used to. If you use Action Script 2, Flash MX, Flash 8, Flash CS3, it's all the same. So once we're in, let's highlight the keyframe there and press Control V because we have that all the images already in our clipboard and it's going to paste it right into the stage there well I thought I had it in my clipboard control C highlight them all oh yeah it's it's going in okay so now our map is in and we double click it we'll see you see we have independent items looky there isn't that nice so now what you can do is just take each one of those convert to symbol you can make it an, an uh, animated uh, movie clip symbol or regular button symbol. I'm going to make it a button symbol. This one you can convert to symbol again and you can name it the province that it is since I'm so bad with geography I don't even know what the hell uh, province that is and I'm sorry if you live there uh, I don't even know the state next to me in the United States uh, United, the Americans are stupid. You guys know that. I know nothing about geography. Okay. So let's convert that to a button. Let's convert this one to a button as well. Okay, so now we have three button symbols there on top of our map. And that's the only three that I wanted to make active for the example. And you could have made uh, all of these into buttons. Just take the time to do it. But now we'll show you where the magic is you go inside of each and you give it an overstate double click inside of each you give it an overstate by pressing the over frame and hit F6 the down frame as well hit F6 and in the overstate now we're gonna right click that symbol and convert it to a symbol or right click this uh, this bitmap symbol convert to symbol and we're going to make it a graphic well, let's just make it a movie clip even though we're not going to manipulate its inner timeline we'll convert it to a movie clip and we'll just name it symbol symbol 4 or whatever okay now that that's a movie clip it can now be adjusted in the properties to give it a tint of let's make it tint red that's good and then just do the same to the others overstate F6 downstate F6 on the overstate right click convert to symbol whatever make sure it's a movie clip and then in the overstate highlight it, go to the properties tab, select tint and it'll give it the same red then do it to the last one, same thing F6, F6, overstate, select it go to properties, oh, no, select it, right click it convert to symbol, movie clip, OK then go to properties and set the tint 
Okay, now if we press F12 to publish the file to the browser, look at that. We now have an interactive map button interface and the buttons are exactly how they should be for a map selector interface. So each button can be an independent movie clip and it can be layered in such a way and brought in all together from fireworks. That's how you do it. Okay, we'll see you guys next lesson.